Hello everyone, welcome back po sa ating channel, Family and Friends. And sa lahat po nakapanood po ng video na to, thank you so much for watching and for sharing po sa inyong mga loved ones whom you care about. And welcome back once again, if this is your first time to visit po ng ating channel. So welcome po kayo, my name is Rosalind. It's glad you are here po to know more about uh, Christ, not only just an encouragement na we just feel uh, good. But you know, to know Christ, what He has done for us, and we will have this uh, eternal or daily relationship with Him in, uh, for the rest of our lives. So I pray whatever your plans for the rest of the day, for the rest of the years, truly that it is all by the God's grace. You know, lahat po ng blessings and everything that, uh, especially your good health, is very important. I pray that we all, you know, satisfied and we all have this assurance that it can be found only to our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? So welcome back once again. So yun nga po talaga is truly God is always faithful and great and good and everything He does, He is perfect. Amen? So yun nga po, I was truly reminded, you know, this, this powerful words you know from God that Jesus is the ultimate healer is the ultimate provider so no matter what issues of life you are facing right now this is a great opportunity reminder ourselves yourself that Jesus is the one who can heal you no matter what issues or sickness you are in in the book of Matthew chapter 15 verse 29 to 31 matatagpuan po natin yan sa book of Matthew chapter 15 verse 29 to 31 in the New Testament. Basahin po natin. Let's read it all together. And Jesus went on from there and walked beside the Sea of Galilee. And he went up on the mountain and sat down there. Verse 30. And great crowds came to him, bringing with them the lame, the blind, the crippled, the mute, and many others. And he put them at his feet and he healed them. Verse 31. So that the crowd wondered. When they saw the mute speaking, the crippled healthy, the lame walking, and the blind seeing, and they glorified the God of Israel. Amen. Thank you, Lord God, for reminding us that you are ultimate healer. Spiritual healing, Lord God, that truly you are the God that who truly healed any kinds of diseases in this time of our generation as well. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving us your word today. We bless your holy name. I welcome the Holy Spirit in the midst of us right now and for the rest of our life. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. 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 So yun nga po, truly that is very powerful words that no matter what is your issues of life or health issues or anything that can truly, you know, your, your heart and mind at this very moment of your life that you struggle, anxiety, depression, or anything that truly struck your life, we can hold on to God promises that Jesus is your ultimate healer. Amen. So I would love to share po kasi at the, um, I was joined in this ministry here in the in the local church where God led me. So it's my first time to join uh, in this ministry and I was truly really excited what God will do for for us in this ministry. So yung nga pumunta kami ng hospital we're in hindi po talaga ako pumunta ng hospital because ayoko talaga ng amoy and hindi po ako talaga wala akong peace pag pumunta ako ng hospital it's really kahit nasa Philippines pa po ako it's never ever po talaga na ay na talagang pumunta ako I feel scared takot ako so that's that's my heart but yun nga po na it's, it's one way of opportunity that God opened the doors to share His gospel not only to pray for them but know that Jesus is their ultimate healer Amen so yun nga po so at first time the, na doon po ako na nag uh, titingnan ko kung ano ginagawa nila yung mga kasama ko so it's really you know that believing that Jesus is our ultimate healer no matter what issues may mga the comatose for years my um, uh, cardiac arrest my cancer 
or kidney failure, anything po lahat. Talagang really, we encounter it. God bring us, lead us to that person. Pinala kami doon to pray for that and most of all, to know Jesus in their life and accept them as their own personal Savior. Siya nga pa nag-start until, you know, that, um, at the, uh, nung lagi na po, so, God give me the strength, the courage na to go on and to pray. Then, sa mga may sakit, we're in, in the hospital. So, God give me the, the, the you know, yung, to, to conquer that fear. Di po ba? Conquer that fear and believe and share the gospel of Jesus that Jesus is their ultimate needs in their time po ng life nila. Now, we're in, talagang, I really pagpasok ko po talaga doon, nung unang pagpasok ko, na talagang, sobrang hindi ko kalain na maraming taong may sakit. May sakit na iba-ibang nationality, pero paglabas mo, Parang wala. Yung mga tao is ang sayasaya nila. But yet, I, it was really God to touch my heart na to have this compassion to pray for them na talagang they are hopeless. They are hopeless in their life na umiiyak sila. Sobra pagpasok mo talaga makikita mo lahat mga aparato na nakalagay sa kanilang mga katawan. So imagine that. Parang God reminded me, do not complain about your life. Do not complain about our life. Because so many people in every nation, in every hospital na na it's just been ridden. And mga yung nakausap nga po ako doon na we're in, sinabi niya na parang kumayang talaga sobrang, sobrang yung ano niya yung struggle, hopeless, yung no, rit, na hit and run, sobrang daming issues, sobrang daming we encounter. Talaga parang sinabi niya na after she will healed, parang babalik na siya kay God. So imagine that, you know, God used that challenges in life to be closer to God. Amen? So no matter what you are dealing right now, believe that Jesus is your ultimate healer. So, yung nga, mayro pa nga po doon ako matos for a years, but God healed them. And as well as lahat ng, um, yung, may, yung may cancer, everything, na, yung may na hit and run, Everything has a purpose in your pain, and that is to glorify God in your life. So that is why I want to share that na you are never alone. God truly hears your prayers. I believe that God is speaking to your heart right now. So whatever po ang iyong pinagdadaanan today, especially your health issues, trust in God. Trust what He has done for you on the cross. Amen. Kaya po, di po ba, na word yung nabasa natin in the book of Matthew chapter 15 verse 29 to 31 is that yung mga lame, yung mga blind, the crippled, the mute, many others, ibig sabihin, iba-iba pang health issues, di po tayo speak and he healed them. How powerful, encouraging that Jesus is, your, is our ultimate healer and provider as well in this time of our generations. Jesus Christ is the same today, yesterday, and forever. Sa ipuno sa Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8. Amen. Panghawakan mo yung kapatid na whatever you are dealing right now, this is a great fortune reminder that God has given you to trust in Him, to trust what He has done for you on the cross for you and me. Amen. Sabi nga po doon sa Romans 10, 9, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Lord, God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Amen. So use this opportunity, kapatid, na binibigay sa'yo ni God and don't wait for tomorrow or next other time because yung nga po, we don't know what will happen. Di po ba? Life is too short. Sabi po nga nila, but we live every day na I pray that you will, we will encounter Christ more in our daily life and to serve Him and love Him for the rest of our life. Amen? Keep believing in Christ and trust Him truly, wholeheartedly that Jesus can truly assure us that you will heal not only physical healing na pinapipray mo but most of all spiritual healing, spiritual revival, that you may know Christ, kung sino siya sa life mo, sa life natin, that He gave you Himself for the forgiveness of all our sins and after three days He rose again. God gave His only Son, Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of all our sins. Amen? So, yun nga po na everyday, so yun nga po na, na-stop lang siya nung nag-pandemic, but yet, 
every day, every every day or anywhere we can pray po sa sa mga tao were in the needs truly not only healing but you know lahat ang dami mga tao diyan around the world that truly need Jesus and share the love of Jesus no matter what oh, God will bring you amen because God has a great purpose in your life and that is to glorify God amen so if this is your first time to visit on our channel you know so or someone forward this message this video this is an accident so I would love to pray invite your personal prayer short prayer that comes from your heart sincerely sincerely true to your heart that you you want to know Christ like never before amen so sundan nyo po ang short prayer na to we're in um, personal prayer that um, think that Jesus is there with you right now that Jesus is always with us that he is there with you right now uh, personal prayer so sundan nyo po ang simple prayer na to and um, with sincere heart amen so heavenly father i acknowledge between the separations between you and me is because of all of my sins i acknowledge lord that i am a sinner and i need a savior oh lord god thank you lord jesus for reminding me or for giving me the opportunity to know you who you are in my life god i acknowledge and i believe i have faith that you raised you died you raised from the dead after three days for the forgiveness of all of my sins oh god help me lord to love you, serve you, and worship you for the rest of my life. Help me, Lord, as well to say no what the Bible calls sin. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I acknowledge you. I receive you today for the rest of my life as my Lord and Savior. Help me, God, to be a blessing as well to all the people that surround me, that your name be glorified in honor. I worship you. I adore you. And thank you, Lord Jesus, for this eternal life I receive in you, through you, Lord Jesus alone. This is all I pray and ask. And everybody say, Amen. Amen. So if you pray the prayer, believe that all is God. Second Corinthians 5, verse 17. So God bless everyone and keep your faith in Christ and get connected that Jesus is always with us. He cares. He loves us so much. You and me. That's why He gave His only son. Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of all our sins. So stay blessed, everyone, and um, be a blessing as well to other people. And use this opportunity to know Christ in your life. Amen?